All right, just a quick update on what I'm trying to do. Um, as you can see, I put a, a small flywheel combination pulley. I've mounted a 12 volt, well, a wannabe 12 volt uh, old bicycle generator, and I'm and I was going to obviously if I gear this down like this or up as it were this is going to spin a lot faster once it's hooked to this guy um, through a belt but let me shut this off and again this is 5 volts but the problem I'm having you can see the construction here the problem I'm having is obviously the drag the the friction the type of I, I obviously don't have the right kind of belt when I hook it up using 5 volts on the Bendini coil to spin the small roller which activates the big rotor this is in a traction mode now um, this was a suggestion by overunity.com uh, Stefan or Stefan and a couple other guys told me why don't I just hook a generator to it and they said hook it you know just mount it directly mount the rotor on the shaft well you know I, that's, that's a lot of construction so I figured I'd throw this guy up and if I walk around the back, you can kind of see the construction a little bit. It's nice and sturdy. Um, just cut this out of some heavy wood. And the flywheel doesn't drop the amperage. Someone told me it would. I actually mounted the amp meter up, figured it out. And I'm pulling about 200 milliamps, or 1.9, uh, 190 milliamps. And it's the same without the flywheel. So I'm not sure if I'm doing it wrong. Um, but if anybody's got any suggestions other than this pulley setup, I actually thought I've got this other rotor over here. And um, this guy's really heavy. And this is what I actually took the readings with. I was going to mount him on here. And he's got the magnets all the way around. And uh, I was going to mount him on there and actually mount a small rotor on here with magnets to see if I couldn't actually get it to spin that way just for giggles um, my camera's probably going to click off here in a second because I only get the three minutes but you know it spins with the flywheel at five volts you know the Bendini coil spins the small rotor which spins the big rotor um, and I wanted to see what kind of voltage I was getting off. One other thing before I sign off. I don't know if this thing generates DC. When I throw my meter on it, for DC, I get very small fluctuating voltage. But when I throw it on for AC, I get, you know, four, five, six volts. And I always thought that these little bike generators were all DC. Um, but I'm probably wrong. So if somebody could tell me that too, because I got it on eBay and it didn't it didn't tell me anything. Now, one of the things that's noticeable on this, it doesn't have a plus and a minus. It has a T and an H. I'm not sure what the 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 T and the H, which kind of leads me to believe that it is AC, which means I'm going to need a bridge rectifier and blah 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 and all that good stuff. All right, let's see if we can fire this guy up one more time. Get him going and see you know just like any bendini coil you gotta start the small one and then i have to start the big one and it takes a couple of times uh, sometimes i get lucky and they sink right up and of course my goal was to try to do this at five volts um so i added the the two more batteries onto here and the two arms on there and uh it sinks up sometimes sometimes it doesn't Sometimes I gotta play with it. And that's at 5 volts. At 12 volts, I don't need to do any playing. It just sinks right up. So I may go back to 12 volt just for testing. Anyway, that's it. Ciao.